Yes, I'm here at Fremantle Hospital because a prisoner tried to escape on Tuesday. Eyewitnesses of the event say that it was due to the fact that the security guards uncuffed him before putting him in the car. Basically, the prisoner had escaped from our cell kind of rooms that we have them kept in when they're getting discharged from the hospital. And as the prison guards were taking him into the van, they had unhandcuffed him and the prisoner ran off. My requests for an interview or comment on the incident were rejected by the Department of Corrective Services, Serco Transport and Hakea Prison. However, John Embry from Perth Watch House was willing to explain the protocol for the transport of prisoners to and from hospital. Once they're being discharged, when, um, just prior to leaving their room, we will cuff them. Uh, as far as our SOPs are concerned, our standard operation procedure, that all patients transferred to and from hospital will be cuffed the patient is um, discharged, there will always be two officers and there will always be our vehicle parked out the front. However, the security are unwilling to comment on the event or the protocol of prisoners whilst in the care of the hospital. This poses the question, was the attempted escape an accident or an intention, as uncuffing the prisoner was not at all following the general protocol of transportation of prisoners to and from hospital? I'm Sarah Campion, Notre Dame News.